rallies the troops. Final match of the day for Portugal and Tonga. Final match of the weekend for both teams in Montevideo. Both teams looking for maximum points. High tackle on Sebastião Steelwell. Gives Portugal the first attacking possession. They've got men away to the right. They've got space as well. Fati coming in on the inside ball. Second penalty to Portugal. Taken quickly by Vasco Camara, but not from the mark. Both these two forming a half of the heady and challenging pool. Pool A featuring Georgia, Kenya, and these two. Kenya beaten in the men's semi final just a few minutes ago. Georgia and Tonga eliminated at the pool stage. Portugal into the quarters, and they went no further. Portugal looking for back to back wins over the Akali Tahi, the Sea Eagles of Tonga. Three penalties inside the opening minute and 15, all conceded by Tonga. And Portugal again, choosing to set things up with the scrum. A little glimpse of Laulia Mao, who's played rugby for Thames Valley in New Zealand's North Island. Club nicknamed the Swamp Foxes. He's looking to make his mark once more. Challenger event. Tonga won the overall challenger last year. That earned them a spot in the London playoff. Try and gain coronation status. They weren't able to do so. It was Canada who emerged from that ruthless final event of the campaign. Kenya dropping down to join Tonga in the challenger. Uruguay as well relinquishing their coronation status. Everything to play for at this part of the campaign as Kuto powers forth for Portugal. Vash Kunsilos, diminutive, low to the ground, dangerous. Quick ball for Portugal. Camara moves it wide, throws the dummy, looks for the inside pass to Moraira. And Moraira's grappling and fighting, and that's a muscular collision. Vash Kunsilos, Rodriguez looking for it. The kick pass to Manuel Fati. He's got a check together. But still Portugal in possession. That's a vicious sidestep and another. Look at this. Here comes the hot stepper. Manuel Fati tying Tongans in knots. Not that Federico Abreu de Sosa seems too happy about it. The former Portugal World Cup competitor back in 2007, eyeing things from the sidelines. Portugal seven points to the good with Vasconcelos conversion. Have a look at this, the kick from little number nine, asking a lot of Fati. Sized up Sione Tupo and Maasi. Goodbye, I'm heading under the sticks. Wonderful, nimble footwork from Manuel Fati. Fabulous try. Vash Kunsilas steals a meter or two with that restart drop kick. Lands on Hui Hui, centre winger and flanker in the 15-man game. Opportunities around the fringes for Tonga, and they are going to hit back instantly. Sioni Tupo goes the distance, and Tonga strike under the posts. Eight tries on the Challenger Series last season, Sioni Tupo. He was a flag bearer for Tonga at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England in 2022. And the skipper points the way for Tonga. Asimisi Maasi takes every second permitted to him before dinking it down the middle. Seven all. Two and a half to play in the first seven minutes. Look at Sione Tupo's handoff. Oh, biting the dust, Vasco Camara. He's eating plastic. Sione Tupo is gobbling up tries. Mm. 
Maasi gets wonderful height on that. Tantalizing for Tonga, but the chase not quite fast enough. Federico Kuto wins it for Portugal. And Tonga straying offside. Portugal going quickly, and they're flooding down the right with Manuel Fati. He's beat Maasi again. Fantastic cover tackle. The inside ball, the control on the quadricep, and the try for Portugal. Frederico Couto is in. Lightning fast strike from Portugal. Oshlobos. Straight from the restart, winning that quick penalty. Vasco Camara setting them on their way. And the inside ball from Fati controlled well by Couto. Guillaume Vasconcelos played this time, but 12 points to seven. Portugal edge back ahead. Good timing of the pass from Kamara again. Maasi, he'll be fed up with the sight of Manuel Fati. It's an excellent cover tackle. But the ball controlled neatly on the quad. Little touch on the left thigh from Federico Couto. And he was quick enough to touch down. Vashkonsos with that trademark languid kicking style. Hui Hui wins it again. Sioni Tupo is not going to repeat the try scoring pick and driving act, is he? Hui Hui for Maasi. Tonga seeing space through the middle. Off the deck to Maasi once more. And he is laying waste, exacting some revenge on Manuel Fati. A knuckle sandwich this time. Dished out to the Portuguese number six. And Maashi earns a modicum of revenge for Tonga as the halftime hooter sounds. He's been done a couple of times by Manuel Fati, has Simisi Maasi. But he's good enough and powerful enough and resilient enough to issue a stout response. Atieli Pakalani. Kicks to give Tonga the half-time leads. His pass set up Maasi through the dummy, got away from Kamara. And that piston-like fend, just enough to check Fati and open up the gap that would never be closed again. Maasi scores, Bakalani converts. And Tonga squeeze, inch their way ahead at half-time. They lead Portugal the seventh place playoff final by 14 points to 12 and each looking to finish with a little bounce of positivity slender lead at half time for the Tongans and Portugal look to overturn that oh what a step hooey hooey he's hit the gas he's got support Talfateo with hooey hooey with him oh Talfateo he's a ballet dancer He's incredible. He's unstoppable. Natalini Taufateo leaves them all flailing like giraffes on an ice rink. And he scores a belter for Tonga. Adieli Bakalani counts down the seconds, scoops through the kick. 21 12 Tonga. All about the footwork here. First from Hui Hui to blast down the tram lines. Taufa Teo, inside, outside. Goodbye. Try time. Just marvel at this. First off the right, then off the left. Back on the right for good measure. Nothing Steelwell can do about that. It's majestic. Now Portugal need to score twice to pluck this game from current position, threatening to get away from them, and that knock-on is not going to aid their cause. Tell you what, Sioni Tupo has not been skimping on the bicep curls in the gym, has he? What a set of pipes the Tongan skipper's got on him. Five and a half to play. Nine-point game. Eight ranking points available for the winner. The loser must settle for six. Free kick. 
to Portugal. No hook in the scrum. Middle prong of the three-man trident. The nominated hooker must strike the ball, must kick it back, can't just step over it. Free kick Portugal and Vashkun Sulis takes it short. Running into Hui Hui and Sione Tupo. And look at the damage Tupo's doing at rock time. It's fantastic work from the Tongan leader. Not been skipping leg day either by the looks of him. And Tonga select the scrum. Sialsi Hui Hui, he's been impressive today. He's had a good weekend's work. As Tonga look to force their way back into those playoff spots. The win today would take them on to 18 points. 10 from Dubai, 8 from here in Montevideo. As they look to push their way back into the the top four. One more event in Munich to come. Try here, might finish this one off for Tonga. Might polish off Portugal. Moala though, shackled well behind the gain line. Vashkun Solis has his hands on the ground. He's not releasing the player. Maasi takes the tap, then pauses. That languid Tongan running style. Moala, how quickly they can go from languid to lethal. Moala taking the penalty from well in front of the mark. So back-to-back -back penalties conceded by Portugal. This one for the high tackle, Guillaume Vosch-Konsulich. Take some doing for little Guillaume Vosch-Konsulich to high tackle anybody. Five foot eight in his rugby boots with studs, even the extra long ones. But still just 18 years old. And a bright, bright future ahead of him as he is withdrawn, perhaps for the last time in this competition. Find. Set. More enticing tongue and possession here. Maasi goes down the short side. Jinx, the stop and go, and then the slam. Second high shot in quick succession. Duat Moreira with this one. Tonga want to scrum once more. It's not simply a tactic to slow the game up. Take time away from an opposition team that's chasing points and needs to score twice. It's also a chance for attacks to be set, for set-piece moves to be unleashed and for those hours on the training ground honing these manoeuvres to be put into practice. What have Tonga got in store for us here? Wide from Taufateo. The chip and the chase from Taufateo Lungaki. He's got the wheels. He's got the skills. And Tonga surely now are cruising to victory. Sione Taufateo Lungaki with a lovely slice of individual skill. He saw the unguarded patch of Inviting in goal area, delicate chip, pace to gather. And the try that extends Tonga's lead. Four from four for Atiele Pakalani as well. 28 points to 12 now, and this game surely beyond Portugal. Here's the try, Telfi Unanaki chipping over the top of Stilwell. Kind bounce for him, but he deserves that. He made his own luck with that try. And here's Big Bad Walter, just what the Portuguese players want to see. Six foot four, 117 kilograms, 240 odd pounds of Tongan pain inducing beef wheeled off the bench. 16 points the difference. Portugal need to score three tries. They've got 100 seconds to do it. Far from impossible in a game of rugby sevens, but they need the ball first and foremost. And they don't have it. Oh, well, they do, with the aid of a knock-on. Crouch. Find. Set. 
approaching the final minutes. Portugal's need is dire. They can't waste time. They've got to take this penalty quickly. They've got to pluck a rabbit from a hat here and then do it again and again. Sebastião Steelwell, he's been a, a late try scoring hero before. Golden point score in the pool play. Antunch in the step from Rosa. Antunch once more gets it away quickly. Three on two here for Portugal. Beautiful reverse pass to Manuel Fati. One on one with John Ika, who pulls off a terrific cover tackle, but two inside balls. Maasi still chasing hard, but Antunch will go in. And he's got to take the kick straight away. 20 seconds left. Antunch slots the extras. 28 19. Portugal still need two tries. Watch the passing here, though, the distribution. Great tackle from Ika. Kamikaze style diving at the legs. Maasi covers two players in one, but Antunch able to get clear. Feels like too little, too late, and it is. Hooter sounds. Last play of the seventh placed playoff. And Tonga have possession. Do they want to play and finish with one more try? Or are they happy to take seventh place, pack their bags, and head back to their Tongan archipelago home? John Ika does the necessary. And a handshake for Manuel Fati. Those two had a great personal duel towards the end. But it is Tonga who power to victory and who plunder eight potentially vital points on the HSBC challenger ladder proper. Full time in the seventh place playoff. An exhausted Sione Topo's Tonga 28, Portugal 0-0.